Hi everyone, Darwin here. Welcome back to the Toady Wee Workshop. Anytime I've taken some overhead shots in the Toady Wee Workshop, I've been making these sort of hack contraptions to hang the camera from the ceiling. Well, a bunch of googling later, and I came across the Woby Camera Jig 2.0 by Woby Designs. Ben sells plans for this camera jig that you can download and carve yourself. And the idea is it's an articulated arm similar to that bouncing desk lamp. The parts are made from half inch ply. You can either use a CNC or you can cut it out by hand. And Ben includes both CNC files and files for hand cutting in his download. I'm adding an extra link in the arm so I adjusted the CNC file to add an extra couple of straight pieces and junctions. As you saw, I'm using something called a compression bit, and it's a combination of an upcut bit and a downcut bit, and it's supposed to give you cleaner edges on both sides of the material. But what I found was that it dulled really quickly. I was only able to get this one job done before I couldn't use the bit anymore. And I posted a YouTube short about that, showing how much difference a fresh bit makes. Quickly sand off the tabs. And then use my router to add a nice round edge to each of the pieces. This piece of ply had a very thin, chippy top level of veneer on it, but at least it didn't have any voids inside the material that I came across anyway. And here's everybody's favorite job, more sanding. There are a lot of individual pieces in this project, and I'll put a link in the description below to the hardware that I bought. There, you have to buy bolts, washers, and some threaded inserts. I'm staining the junction pieces Cabernet, and I used about four layers of wipe on poly for the arms. And a final couple coats of poly on the junctions when the stain was dry. And finally, some assembly required. You can assemble this in different ways, but I started with the bolts in the junctions on the outside, a set of washers, a set of arms, a pair of washers, another set of arms. Here's where I found out my threaded inserts were slightly too long, but I was still able to use them. Put the last set of washers on, and then the outer junctions. I'm just tightening the bolts enough so that they hold in place. I'm going to do the final tightening later when I can hang the arm on a bracket. Ah, uh, shoot. Forgot to change that. Because I added an extra link to the arm, I have to change the angle of the final piece where the camera is attached to. Now for some reason my bracket was too tight. Maybe the plywood was a little less than half an inch, so what I've done is added an extra washer to the middle of the parts that clamp the pipe. And to even up the spacing, I add an extra washer to the outside of the arm section before putting the plate back on. And now I can do a final tightening to get the tension in the arms the way I want it. It has to be loose enough to move and tight enough to hold in place. A bolt through a hexagonal piece of wood becomes a handle to lock the jig to the pipe. Another bolt run through a slot in the end of the arm is an attachment point for the camera holder. Ben's designed the jig to attach to any 3 quarter inch black pipe. I'm adding an elbow to the wall here. And this will work for a lot of the shots that I want to do at the workbench. Although I realized very quickly it was better to have the camera dangling off the bottom of the jig than sitting on the top. But the original goal was to hang the jig from the ceiling joist. So what I'm doing is converting Ben's original pipe clamp design and adding a T-junction in. It uses two extra 8 inch long 3 quarter inch pipe, a T-junction, and a circular flange to let the jig rotate before locking it in place with the handle. This lets me use the pipe clamp on a workbench, like Ben envisioned, or hang it from the ceiling now and let me get overhead shots of my CNC. Hey, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you liked the video. Hope it's useful. 
and we'll see you again soon.